When it comes to spooling up your reel, especially these days with braid, it's not just simply a matter of tying it on and winding it on. You know, braid's expensive, so you've got to look after it. And if you do it right, it'll last a long time. You can't put the braid directly onto the spool because what happens is the braid will actually slip. So you need to put a short length of mono on. Now, that's really easy. You want a loop knot. So all it basically is, just a couple of grannies back on itself. Bang, one, two, open your bail. Put the loop over the top, like that. Pull down tight, close the bail, and then just wind it up. And you can see there already that there's a bit of line there. That's enough now to grip. So what I'll do now is feed this short section of mono just through the guide. So when we wind it on, it's going straight through all the guides. Joining the two together, mono to braid is really simple. And all it is, is a double uni knot. Put the braid against the mono. Make a loop in the braid, like so. Pin it against the mono. Pull it down a bit like that. Then all you do, get the tag, go round the main line and through the loop. One, two, three, four, and you know what? Five for good measure, five. Then just pull, don't worry about the mono, just pull on the braid, the tag against the main line, and she slides into a nice neat little knot like that. That knot's obviously holding the braid at that end. So what we do is we do the exact same thing with the mono. So these two knots are effectively pulling against each other. Now, because it's mono, there's more friction. So just give it a tiny little bit of lube there so that it doesn't burn on itself or burn against the braid. Pull down tight, and there you have your two knots. And all you need to do is pull on the mono main line against the braid main line and slide them in. And voila, that is a double uni. The final step is just trim these trim them nice and close. So of course, if you're really smart and organized, you do this at home instead of out here on a rocking boat. So now we get the hard part. And for this, you need your assistant. Steph, you're gonna hold this. Then what I'll do is move over to this corner and then it's just a matter of winding it on. It's important to get this braid tightly on the spool. If you get a loose spool underneath, what will happen then is if you hook a big fish, that braid will dig down on itself because it's not compacted down enough and you'll end up in a disaster. So nice and tight on the spool, nice and steady like that, and wind and just keep winding. So you can see now that I'm right up perfectly on the line there. So now I can put the leader on, no problem at all. We always try and over spool, it's natural. Just save yourself a few bucks, put a few more meters on. But these reels or braids not designed for that. So if you over spool it, you'll end up with this bird's nest, it'll catch on itself. And at the end of the day, you'll end up with 200 bucks worth of braid that's completely useless. So don't overspool it, make sure you pack it down and you'll get more out of your braid.